dear viewers and subscribers it is time to pray get ready to pray fervently and be prepared to hear powerful word of god by the ministry of apostle joshua selman he will declare it powerfully over our lives so let your heart be opened to receive and feel free to share the link to your family your friends your loved ones god bless you as you watch this video production thank you Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Keep praying. Lord, do wonders tonight. Wonders. Make sure you are praying. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is an opportunity to experience the power of God tonight. And I trust that God will do mighty things in this place. I know he will do mighty things. Absolutely convinced. Holy Spirit, who would give us such an audacity to gather people like this? Except for the power that resides in the name of Jesus. Our confidence tonight is based upon the fact that you love us. And Lord, we trust you to do absolutely beyond our imagination. Heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, let doors that have been closed be opened tonight for the glory of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone. This is our April Miracle Service. Can you celebrate Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. I especially want to appreciate those of us coming from other states, other parts of this country. You're very welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a faithful God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a faithful God. Help me worship us. Hey, hey.
us are expectant tonight. You won't go to hell if you are not expectant. But if you are really expectant, let me see your hands. Can you give Jesus a shout of praise tonight? Let the devil know that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Those outside, can you intimidate those inside with a shout? A thunderous shout of praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hug 20 people and be seated. Make sure you're greeting someone. Don't just sit down. greet your friends. I'm seeing a group of people doing some real greeting down there. What's going on? Ay, 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 ay. All right, so I don't know the song. I really don't know the song. What song now? Help me. Any song. Majority carries the vote tonight. Yahweh. Are you ready? just coming we are not mad men it's an expression of audacity the bible says the shout of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous hallelujah 
People they ask me say Hold on What do you know I'm singing? Sam come Oh, a kachine ke motile. Oh, a kachine ke The walls of Jericho will fall. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of you believe what I just said? The walls of Jericho will fall. This is what I saw in the spirit while we sang. The walls of Jericho. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going straight to the business of the night. Hallelujah. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Tonight is a night of miracles. Tonight is a night of deliverance. I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. I prophesy as a servant of the living God that these Egyptians you came here with tonight wave them goodbye because you will never, 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 never. Hallelujah. I'm not speaking to anybody but I'm prophesying to someone that these Egyptians if God be God if God be God if God be God I prophesy to you tonight we didn't come to joke if God be God this Egyptian call it his name whatever it is this Egyptian it will go Lay down the burdens that you have carried for in this sanctuary tonight God is here let's just read one scripture just one scripture hallelujah Ezekiel 37 
There is such a heavy presence of God in this place. Inside and outside, let your faith rise to its limit because God will do awesome things tonight. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Tonight is a prophetic night. Oh. Tonight is a... See, the words here tonight have prophetic implications. And caused me to pass by them round about. Bones of hardship, bones of lack, bones of infirmity bones of oppression and behold they were very many this is the story of many families very many and they were very dry and he said unto me joshua selman can these bones leave can this sick body leave can these dying finances leave can this delay and stagnation in this family leave again? Can this hopeless situation leave? Can this blood condition leave? Can SS be changed to AA? Can a man on a wheelchair walk again? The prophet was so scared. He said, only thou knowest. And he said unto me, prophesy. There is no one like my God. There is no, no one, one like my God. There is no, no one, one like my God. Prophesy unto these bones. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dead finances, O ye family challenges, O ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord, O ye challenges, hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, I will cause breath to enter you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we're making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied, there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence you, Lord. Don't sing, don't join me. Help me with the simba. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. 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 I will. For in your presence.
substance there is like everlasting I will reverence you Lord tonight every dry bone hear ye the word of the Lord hear ye the word of the Lord the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life everlasting. For in your presence there are miracles. For in ha, your presence there is joy, joy everlasting. So I will reference you, Lord. Tonight with the throne principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight, we set free the captives and the oppressed. Lord, visit your people in a mighty way. In a mighty way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for what God will do tonight? How many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. The power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back. Let me have that lady in front. Tonight, listen, I want your faith. reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here I like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst hallelujah the lady at the back I'm seeing an angel walking I'm seeing an angel walking across this road the lady is wearing something like pink pink something like pink something like pink something like pink that's the lady bring her she'll come out by the power of the holy ghost by the agency of the spirit Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. 
foul devil of darkness go I see you in the realm of the spirit go now bring them out lift your hands everyone there are many people under the oppression of darkness the moment I shout the name Jesus I tell you to be like a tornado the power of God will hit you where you are no devil I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit I hold captive every foul devil tonight you will let God's people go now lift your hands everyone at the count of three shout Jesus and the power of God will fall one two three Every devil, bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside the power of God is falling outside falling outside I rebuke evil spirits in this room in this room the power of God is falling mightily come out of God's people I expose the works of darkness Every demon in hell Outside, outside, the power of God is falling outside. falling on two of you outside hallelujah lift your hands every act of witchcraft and divination many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus I command by the power of the Holy Spirit the wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah come out of her now out of her in the name of Jesus come out of her foul devil of darkness go go I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit out of her right now come out of her you're a wicked spirit of darkness out I'm seeing a snake this is what I'm seeing come out right now come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ go this lady has been oppressed and her entire family come out right now in the name of Jesus you must go the light shines upon you go 
Go now. You have oppressed this girl for long. Now in the name of Jesus, come out of her. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her right now. Out in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Turn and look at me. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a wicked spirit of darkness. Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? The devil is a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? The devil is a liar tonight. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now. Whoever goes under the anointing, you're not representing yourself, but your family. There are things that need to be settled. At the count of three, all over this building, families be rescued. One, two, three. Papa, Pateka, Karata, Sete, Perekoba, Baba Taka, Lata, Bakeria, Toto Kete, bring them out. Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Kata Tabalada, Kata Barata, Karatosa, Rabariata, Meketori Seke, Mabrikato, Ereka Likaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Seke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Abatakata, leka prakata raka, rakata prakata ba, abrosko so so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke, reko to so seke dia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta ta ta. Rakata baba. Raposoto. Reketeke. Raposkose. Rekoske niata. Mabata porokote. Raeke reketo. Raposke blondo. Kapriata kata shekete. Outside. The fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? 
son of man can these families be revived again bring them in bring them in bring them in from outside there are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost bring this lady you leave our family right now you're a demon of darkness come out right now out by the power of the Holy Ghost right now you are a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delay in different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. wonder look up there are certain issues that you go through in your life you pray about it you fast about it the more you pray the more you fast nothing is changing why is it so hold on hold on no let that lady not go look at my eyes please dress her let's have a lady wrap something around her Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus see listen 
the Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that but let me tell you something if you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family you will be surprised that you can be born again and feel the Holy Ghost see we like telling ourselves lies in church me I don't have time for that nonsense are you listening to me everybody just wears suits and then we just and the devil is oppressing people who is Zainab 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 please let's save time Zainab you are Zainab look at me the Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family come out of her right now and her family out in the name of Jesus you will see a nice pretty lady like this then eventually things will not move on in her life bring this lady look at my eyes look at my eyes I'm speaking to the spirit not the person don't worry the spirit is hearing look at my eyes your reign in this family is over it's time for you to go now now go just let her be come lift this lady for me sweetheart your family needs a lot of ah, what is this one that I'm seeing you have an elder sister where is she is she married eh? she lost the guy it's not that she lost the guy because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying this is what I'm saying look at me look at me sister what happened to the guy he was shot he was shot are you hearing what I'm saying now so now you see this lady and you are happy Satan come out now come out you wicked spirit out now now come out let our entire family go the problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil it takes the mercy of God this is the situation we have here Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Ranta prosko sete balakatea. Victory, Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? your hands on your stomach look at me look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can all right are you ready one to go you're free in the name of Jesus
I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart heart condition. These two ladies come. Come tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Come out of our family. Right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Bring this lady. Look at look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress this ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? It started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. Stand for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him the money. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping in the dream. I saw somebody, the person don't shout. He is there and I shout and I wait. Since then, my heart. It seems, it seems to me that the heart wants to, and you know, I want to give up anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not heart. You think it's heart problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive. Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out. You are wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. You will leave her. Come out. Out of her right now. Out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus.
Those of you who brought sick people, please will we'll start ministering shortly. But I want to pray for people who please stand up, everybody. Stand up, stand up. Hallelujah. The Lord is specifically asking me to pray. I'm going to pray. You won't come out, God will bring you out by Himself. Um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Mm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now! 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 I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost.
you will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is go, go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosati will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body, you came with a sick person, especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jake, Bishop Sand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in line, please. Some of you are outside. Rolling here is time for your healing. Healing Hallelujah. Pastor Jesus. Edge me. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you. In the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are, and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you. 
expect a miracle whatever it is barrenness delay sickness what if it has a name it has a need tonight hallelujah worship team help us please those of you at the side please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you check yourself go back to your seat check yourself Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be here. you right now fire upon you out with a loud shout you are going out go go now go 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 on your mark set go you're free thank you Jesus the demonstration of the authority of light over darkness. Make sure you are praying. Arabo Shalabandi. 
Whatever the sickness is, it will go. for you make sure you go back to your seat giving thanks and rejoicing it doesn't matter what is wrong fire right now come out come out of her come out Come out! Come out of her! Out like devil! Come out of her! Fire upon you right now! Come out in the name of Jesus! Out of her! In the name of Jesus! Go! Your time is up! Over this family! Spirit of poverty! Go! Go right now! On your mark set, go! Go! Go, go, go! Go, you must go! Be cast out right now! right now. Telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families.
Holy Ghost. Go, 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 go. Out. Get set, go. Right now, I set you free. Every manifestation of darkness, go. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Because you're in. was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked someone has a problem with the left side of your ears the left side of your ears who is that person the left side of your ears is as if there's water the left side of your ears the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm please be sensitive everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic 
and I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are, I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a tele caramos. Everyone that belongs to this category, the sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let our family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. The Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people. Families for restoration. Families for restoration. My Lord, major, major restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 8811252. 8811252. You or someone in your house has that number. This is part of the 11 numbers. 8811252. Come out. 8811252. And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Z number. 774. 774. A Z number. A Z number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Z number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. 
they will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. As this, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there yeah. lord let your power move right now across that place in the name of the lord jesus christ media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together I want to pray for you at the count of three I'm seeing a whirlwind one two three
There is a lady. You had a dream yesterday. You saw me ministering to you. There are not many times these kinds of revelations happen. Who is that lady? You're a lady. You saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had. Please come out. There is a lady. Please let's save time. We still have some other things to do. Baba Baba Sister, you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit. I want to open a gate right now. Efata, be open. An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered. Very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel. 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 there's a mighty move of the spirit in this place God is just visiting people make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me Lever, come out come by yourself come and stand here Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here. Stand and wait for me. Here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Hold on. Bring this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gifts of the Spirit. This lady loves God but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, You will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying, I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? 
She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? Your mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Yes. Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I was going to tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I ask where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Was and this poisoned. is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you are not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup. Whoever has this request, we are not opening it. But I'm seeing here, marriage for your sister. The Lord says it won't pass this year, this request. I don't know who has it. Marriage for your sister. I'm seeing a lady. Hold on, Kai. What is this? Before we pray, someone in your family has stomach started protruding. People even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In. No, 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 no. This, you, you are not. I'm seeing the lady like we are. Um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. my sister let's save time who is that you or someone in your family someone in your family you believe in Jesus very well look at me look at me very well and you believe you help your family because my dear there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first hmm? a lot of salvation you too You were scared? Why? This is a family. 
please when you, when you hear a word don't be scared hmm? madam why are you out for who eh? what is this Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you, for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of jesus none of the requests here your hand will not bypass them in the name of jesus thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of jesus thank you jesus in jesus name we pray celebrate jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. Believe me. Mossack's come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. 
outside new levels new dimensions take it take it take it take it take it take it you will run like Elijah Let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 Hey, Kerry, da 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 da. So pick it, 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 it. Raga da ba da 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 da. So Kerry, da 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 da. But so pick it, pick it, pick it. You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood, the seal of divine protection, the seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. uncompleted project in this place I command let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year completion of houses projects in the name of Jesus every delay in relationship or marriage I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus Every plague of barrenness, inside and outside, everything called barrenness in your life, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command a restoration. Whatever you have lost, in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at me. I want to break the curse of poverty over families. I always do this. Everybody look at me. I want you to bring out a seed. You know that we don't, if you don't believe it, just keep your seed, please. Bring out a seed. Bring out something that will touch you. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight. Inside and outside. Please share with somebody who doesn't have. This is not about money. This is about spiritual principles. Please bring out a seed. Lift it high above your head. Hmm. 
I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised. Just hold it. Because that will be... Your, uh, just lift it. Just lift it. Now the power of God. Every family suffering under financial curse. Just lift it. You'll be surprised. Right now. Lift the seed to heaven. My God. Like the sacrifice of Abel. Visit it now. In the name of Jesus. Katapokoto Zata. Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening. In the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice to bring poverty. Let this sacrifice end it. In the name of Jesus. It took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families. By our partnership with the Holy Spirit, we introduce a new era of undeniable, inexplainable financial blessings. Just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up. I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. 
I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. For the all inspiring away from things the that you will be doing in the midst of your people. Lord Jesus, people have come from far and near. Oh, that they will never return the way they came. Let there be an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit tonight. Spirit of the living God. I pray that you breathe upon us. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 I'm telling you, God's presence is mighty. The Lord told me He would come in a mighty way tonight. While I prayed, the Lord told me He would come in a mighty way. He would come in majesty. He told me He would come in power. He would come in a dimension of glory. Lord, we thank you for your presence. People have not come to see Joshua Selman. They have come to see the mighty one. And Lord Jesus, I pray that you who is able to meet the needs of your people, meet their needs, O oh God. And let us be glorified even as you are glorified tonight. Spirit of the living God, we live in a time where men despise you. They seek for the things that only your presence can give. But in this place, we salute you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we recognize that you are the only one who can reveal the glory of God. Everything happened in creation because of your presence. We not only believe in you, we honor you and we respect you. You are the right hand of the Father at work in our midst. And we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Greet one another. God bless you. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone inside and outside. May the Lord bless you. You will never be the same. John chapter 9. We have a lot to do tonight. You are everything to me and I exalt your holy name I exalt your holy name I exalt your John chapter 9. I welcome everyone to our April Miracle Service. There's so many people standing all around. I want you to know that at the end of this meeting, it will be worth it. Hallelujah. It will be worth it. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. John chapter 9. We especially thank those who have come from far. May the Lord honor you and may he visit you mightily. In the name of Jesus. John 9. 
I just want to share something very briefly. There is such a heavy anointing in this place. Such a mighty, heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit. 9 verse 1. John 9 verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from his birth. Verse 2. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Verse 3. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Verse 4. I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day for night cometh when no man can walk for as long as I am in the world I am the light of the world hallelujah we are going to examine three things I believe that these are the things that the Lord is going to be dealing with tonight hallelujah something interesting happened in John chapter 9 he says and as jesus passed by so he, he did not intend staying there he passed by and then they saw a man usually they would sit on the floor begging for arms and they saw a man the bible says he was born blind born blind and the disciples shared with us a powerful principle remember they had been with jesus and so Jesus had been teaching them the mysteries of the operation of the kingdom. So they were speaking on the strength of what he had taught them so far. Jesus had been teaching them about different dimensions of the kingdom. And, and the way the laws of the spirit and the laws of the kingdom function. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, while they were passing, they saw an occasion. They saw something that would be an opportunity to find out something that had been brewing in their heart. And they said, Jesus, by the way, let's clarify something. Here is a very good case. This is a man that was born blind. So, in light of what you have taught us, who sinned? Are you getting it now? So, that means they had a revelation that there are certain predicaments that can come upon a man as a result of his personal violation of the principles of God. That's the first dimension. Are you getting it now? They said, Jesus, here is a man who is sick. On the strength of what you have taught us, it is either the man sinned or his parents sinned. Are you getting this now? That means Jesus had taught them, right? That there are dimensions of evil and, and um, misdeeds that can come upon man as a result of his personal violation of kingdom principles if you're following me say amen. amen hallelujah that's the first category we are going to deal with tonight and then the second category he said the man or what he's how did they know that the sins of parents can be responsible for a man being born blind i needed to understand the construction of their question Many times we read these things blindly. They were asking a very serious question out of Revelation. They said, all right, Lord, from what you have taught us, if we can infer, it has to be this man's sin. Because Jesus had not taught them this new dimension he was about to teach them. So he had taught them that every time you saw sickness and misfortune and all kinds of things, is the sin of the man. Sin there meaning his violation of the set principles of the kingdom or the sin of his parents here it comes that means even jesus and the disciples recognize the role of ancestry and inheritance to causing jeopardy in the lives of people are you getting what i'm saying that means they were saying there was a possibility that the parents of this man would have seen and engaged in certain things that although he was born innocent are you getting what i'm saying And then the third category jesus let them know that not only are these two things possible there is a possibility 
that certain predicaments can come upon people not as a result of their personal violation of the kingdom not as a result of ancestry or inheritance are you getting me that certain things under certain conditions can be orchestrated in the lives of people so that the glory of god can be revealed every one of us in this place tonight falls under one or more of these categories are you getting my point there are some of us the reason why we desperately need a miracle this night is because we have sinned and violated the laws when i talk of sin i'm not just talking of the things we know to be seen lack of righteousness lack of walking in accordance to the principles of the kingdom there are many of us who are here and it may not necessarily be that we violated the kingdom of god the principles of the kingdom but that we are walking in the pain of certain things that have been done before we came let me tell you something very very straight brothers and sisters i always say this i know that many people have thought that there is nothing called a cause look up please i need your attention now we're building that there is nothing called generational curses they are not there's nothing called yokes listen let me tell you the truth if you believe that there are blessings it is very foolish not to believe that there are causes if there were no causes there's no need for blessings are you getting what i'm saying i don't mean to insult all the theologies that we have heard and i'm not saying they are wrong but i'm telling you that many we have done that teaching the full gospel you can get the teaching but when there is inaccurate and incomplete teaching of the truth it leads people into a lot of error are you getting what i'm saying now listen there are certain things in the kingdom that cannot be stopped what happens is that you can operate certain kingdom principles that can exempt you from their effect are you getting what i'm saying so it exempts you but it does not mean it cancels the operation of that law please follow what i'm sharing if you get this revelation you will walk out free tonight hallelujah if by reason of certain demonic activities there is a cause over a family watch this and you come to the light of the understanding of redemption what christ has done for you and you operate those principles listen it's not going to just stop that thing from working for everybody it will exempt you and you are out and as many people who are interested in doing what you have done are you getting my point that's the reason why people will still keep dying are you getting what i'm saying as a result of certain things who seen that this man was born blind was it him how could he have seen when he was not born at that time are you getting my point now so jesus said no this is not him because this thing was he was born it was a predicament he found himself with that predicament who seen that you were born with your genotype ss who seen that you found out that there was a family terminal disease you were just born with it are you understanding what i'm saying who seen that you were born with a blood condition who seen that you you just found out that you were in a family that was involved in witchcraft and idol worship you didn't have a choice you were born in it are you getting my point and although you did not contribute anything actively you cannot deny the effect that this thing is causing in your life today we are going to deal with certain issues tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah when the thief the two thieves hung on the cross and jesus was at their center one of them looked and said we have been punished for what we did in other words he acknowledged we stole they caught us we are on that cross 
so all we can ask for is the mercy of god and he said remember me hallelujah so we we see that the law of cause and effect still exists in the realm of the spirit he said do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man sows that shall he we only use it for money is a spiritual law is a spiritual law that means everyone in the kingdom is a farmer you are always sowing you are sowing seeds and the bible says according to the justice system of god whatever it is that you sow you will reap hallelujah there are a number of us that what we are seeing in our lives today are the fruits of our personal violation of the principles of god it may be as a result of ignorance it may be things that happened before you were born again born again or you may even be here and you're, you've not given your heart to the lord that has granted satan listen let me tell you something the way satan works huh please understand this i i i, I shared a little last week you can get the teaching the speaking blood hallelujah our communion service was a powerful time and i did share that the first revelation of the blood is not mercy is the justice of god the mercy of god comes because of the justice system of god hallelujah please let me have two people two guys two gentlemen please just come quickly any two people now come one here one here watch this hallelujah now if this is my handkerchief please everybody look i want to teach you something powerful if this is my handkerchief all right and brother you are trying to take it knowing that it's not your own is that true if you are trying to take it and i suddenly realize you will shift your hand very quickly because you are doing it illegally is that true now but assuming that you come and you now lie to this guy that this handkerchief belongs to you and he pays you for it are you getting the difference now he pays you for this handkerchief and he wants to come and take it and i come in and say this is my handkerchief do you think he will just go back like that are you getting my point i want you to understand satan's system of operation in mankind satan operates on a legal ground are you getting what i'm saying when you understand satan's system of operation you will now see the need for the blood you will now see the need for the name of jesus and you will appreciate the benefits of redemption are you getting my point satan did not come to steal dominion from man he was willfully giving look at what he told jesus christ remember in the temptation one of the temptations what did he tell jesus he said all these kingdoms i will give to you if you bow because it was given to me who gave him adam 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 willingly gave man a uh, satan dominion that was why jesus had to collect it legally did jesus look at satan and say i am the christ give me back the keys it would have been a violation of the principles of the kingdom are you getting what i'm saying so every time we walk in sin and iniquity what we are doing is that we are giving satan license are you getting what i'm saying it's an authorization we are giving him authority and so he can stand and say on legal basis bless you thank you for instance let me use one example something that concerns all of us the issues of finance forget about kingdom prosperity when you are not faithful in tithing are you getting what i'm saying now are you seeing that some of us are where we are financially not because the government hates us not because we were born from poor families necessarily are you getting what i'm saying now some of us have consistently violated the set principles you see the principles of the kingdom are not invented you just discover them and walk in it you don't invent a new kingdom principle no it's been there the bible says ask for the ancient part it didn't say create one ask for it it's already there ask for it walk daring and you will find rest for your soul hallelujah again and again we find ourselves violating the principles of the kingdom
but i want you to know that whether the predicament is caused by your personal violation of the kingdom there is still a technology in the spirit that can take you out in the name of the lord jesus and then the issue of the effects of what parents and ancestry and so on and so forth has done oh it's so important you must understand that these things work our fathers covenanted africa to satan our geographical regions came into fraternity with the kingdom of darkness hallelujah i've had the opportunity to travel around many places and when i enter a city for a meeting if i'm staying there a few days one of the things i want to learn is the culture of the people hallelujah and in a few places that we've had opportunity to i have seen the reason why certain geographical regions are held back that's why you see certain traits come on to certain things and people keep saying it doesn't work just believe there is nothing you are seeing that people are not getting married it's obvious they say don't worry just claim it that nothing is happening faith is not foolishness faith works on proper kingdom understanding not just some shadow guesswork no are you getting what i'm saying now a lot of preachers have said anything you don't understand just take it by faith no faith does not mean haphazard you can know the build up of the factors that are put together that makes you believe that that thing will work that's why the bible says in all you're getting get understanding hallelujah so many of us today are victims you found out that your mother used to be epileptic you were now born love god all your life you were born again maybe from a young age and preachers told you everything is all right but you are seeing the same traits in your parents happening in your life hallelujah everyone that got married in your family the man or the woman died you are seeing the traces and people just tell you don't worry everything is okay just jump and shout around and say it's fine see there are a lot of people carrying lots of disappointment and pain in church from the result of wrong teachings that women of god have given people it's just that they don't have the courage to confront us and call us wicked people but there are many misguided teachings that we have brought the body of christ into that is causing them to die and you see because of the man of god is always the one receiving the honorarium is that true he's always the one receiving the blessings is always the one he's shielded somewhat from the effect of all of these things even if he falls sick as a result of his own ignorance he has money to remedy his predicament fast so nobody will know who is deceiving who are you following me tonight the bible shows us clearly that a possibility exists for people to be benefactors of either the right doing or the wrong doings of those who have gone ahead of them hallelujah number three which may be the situation of some of us here jesus introduced something new to them Hmm. verse 3 jesus answered neither that means there is still a possibility that you may have remedied the issue of all kinds of evil that comes through family lineage it's possible that you may have come into a point where you are born again and genuinely walking in the way of the lord but then you will notice that certain evils may seem to happen unrestrained and you may be tempted to ask the question lord what did i do wrong are you getting the point now because as far as i'm concerned any cause and any yoke over my life has been broken i know i'm free based on the truth of god's word i now have the revelation of the blood i'm born again i know what christ has done and i have applied it in my life 
so i don't expect that there will be any family curse walking in my life again and i know that i'm walking by the principles of god and where i fall short of his standard i understand the principles of repentance and i know how to approach the throne of mercy but jesus said there are certain things that can happen in your life and this is not for everybody are you getting my point he said there are certain things that are orchestrations and the bible says so that at a certain time the glory of god may be revealed in your life i know that this contradicts many messages that many of us have had but this is the bible are you getting my point a man called job for instance the bible tells us that this was a man who feared god and eschewed evil it was god's own testimony not a man god who dwells in light where there is no shadow of darkness gave a testimony about a man satan himself came and said as a result of this man's faithfulness there was a hedge belt around him and i satan could not even penetrate him and he said lord does job serve you for nothing he said take away what he has and watch the way he will curse you to your face i hope you know that those in the earth realm did not know there was a drama happening in the heavenlies are you getting my point that was why when job's predicament came three men came together with elihu and from their human logical point what did they say they kept quiet for seven days seven days they could not talk to job later they opened their mouth and said job what sin did you do that bring this kind of catastrophe and job said be careful lest you bring a curse upon yourself he said though he slay me yet will i praise him i know my heart is clean i know my slate is clean oh lord i served you but i saw my father die i prayed and prayed and prayed we fasted we even had revelations that he was going to leave but he died are you seeing that now and he was a man who feared god Oh my mother oh my brother oh lord i wrote jam in integrity and i read i did everything but the result came out and i may have to repeat one whole year again oh god i would have cheated in that exam hall but i stayed and because of it now i have an extra year he said for such kind of people there is a technology in the spirit that is able to work these things out and birth a dimension of glory i'm preaching to someone tonight hallelujah we are very quick to be judgmental over people you suddenly see sickness ravaging a family and you're seeing that they love god the woman is the sanctuary keeper cleaning everywhere yet her children are dying and people just look and say oh god oh dear that means that there is a hidden sin in this woman's life but the bible says at the end of job's life when god made a boast with him god gave him twice everything his daughters were the fairest in the city the wife of job looked at him and said do you still hold your integrity in other words whether you hold your integrity or not as far as we are concerned the situation so just cause god justify what people are saying so that it will be that it's your sin that killed you and job said why do you talk like one of these foolish women he said though he slay me yet will i praise him what did i do wrong oh god that until now i am not married what did i do wrong that in our family there's no marriage what did i do wrong that everybody is poor and broke in our family we get money and nothing happens as far as we are concerned we are christians even if there is a cause or something i've, I've gone for deliverance so what is wrong I bring a word for someone tonight god is about to birth a dimension of glory in your life that you listen when god is done with you you will appreciate it you will begin to thank god and say lord it was good when i passed through this valley of the shadow of death i did not know that it was you making a boast of me in the realm of the spirit and though others have compromised and married he says john remain in the wilderness until his season of appearance let me prophesy to you that though weeping endures for a night my bible tells me that joy comes with the morning it says he that weepeth 
bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return rejoicing there are many people today who are going through certain things because they are christians not because they are unbelievers we have been trained to criticize and persecute people because we have been taught by myopic preachers whose god is their belly and based on the things they see reading just at first sight they just believe when jesus hung on the cross the people who had had this message stood by that cross and they said what is all this this man healed the sick this man did this i i mean we saw him walk away from the crowd we saw him do a lot of things could he be so weak that he is helpless on that cross that men can mock him why didn't he demonstrate that he is the king of kings and lord of lords but for the glory jesus was prophetically speaking about himself in that third instance but i have come under the anointing to announce to somebody that when the anointing of the spirit shows up part of the things that it does to you is it says to appoint unto them in zion you know what that means to set a date for your freedom it says to appoint to appoint isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. It says to appoint unto those who mourn. You know what it means to appoint? If I appoint you and I say you are a gatekeeper, what happens? You assume duty. So to appoint means prophetically to look at the people and through the access of the prophetic to say we call your time of deliverance today. It says to appoint unto them that mourn you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to somebody tonight when the spirit takes over your soul when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul tonight god will take away that garment of shame he will take it away he will remove it and give you a new garment that when you step out everyone will know that you met the lord I want you to believe i'm not just motivating you his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit take over your soul that garment of reproach over your life it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit take over your soul and his mother called him Jabez. She said, because I bore him in sorrow, 
Jabez did not name himself. He was a victim of his mother's prophecy. His mother's pain made her to call him Jabez. Jabez. A name that brought sorrow. And Jabez grew up everywhere he went. He saw sorrow. What did this man do? Who sinned? Was it him or his parents? Jabez's mother cursed him. He said, you cursed me sorrow. As a result, you will live in sorrow. But a day came, Jabez said, no, come on God. There must be a way of negotiating this. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Remedy this curse over my life. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I can't live like this. Lord, you are a just God. You must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not. I cannot be suffering because my father was a king. I can't be suffering because we worship idols. I was not there. Come on now. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents. I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child. Lord, we must negotiate this night. There is a way I'm going to hold on to you. There must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen hear me friends if you can hold on to the hand of God tonight you will leave this place with something but if you come here casually you will keep clapping for people who came here desperately there are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days and they said lord i'm holding on to you jabez mother called him jabez and jabez said oh god thou would you not bless me enlarge my coast and the bible said god answered him hallelujah The thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been i've not been giving i've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around and i know that i gave satan legal access but tonight oh god i'm negotiating with you i come what do you think going to the throne of grace is it's not just to go and stand there you go and talk and say lord it is written it is written although it is true that the soul that sins died it is written also that it's not your desire that any wicked perish it is written you take the word of god the legal system of heaven it said produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Haya. arise shine my light is come 
and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. We will arise, arise, shine. Our light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. And I got angry. I said, Lord, if there is nobody to speak in my family, I can't speak. What is happening? My younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination. My elder sister for years would not get admission. Things were just upside down in my family. Someone needs to prophesy tonight. Say order. Hold on. You know how they shout order in court? When there's confusion, somebody must speak and say order. Come on now. I prophesy. Let there be order. Listen. If there is nobody to speak in your family, the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says, I provoke another voice. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. Hallelujah. Please sit down for a moment. We are soon going to stand up. I sense the anointing of the spirit strong. Let me teach you something about priesthood. Please look up. The Bible began to tell us in the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. When it comes to working in the justice system of God, you don't do it as a king. You go back as a priest. Are you getting the revelation? That was why when the Bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption, kings were not mentioned again. It started mentioning priests. You now see why it is the priest in the village, not the king, that does all the connection with the gods. So the Bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood. And every priest in ancient time had a rod. Are you getting my point? That rod was not a symbol of authority. It was a token that connected them with the gods. Are you getting what I'm saying? So there were different kinds of Levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of God. But the Bible tells us that this very priest, this high priest, they said he came after the order of a strange man called Melchizedek. You know who Melchizedek was? Melchizedek was, a, was the king of Salem, the ancient city Jerusalem. The Bible says, having neither father or mother. Question, neither father or mother. That means could not be affected by any ancestry. Are you getting my point? Melchizedek, a man who came. That was the similitude of the Christ. That was why it was Melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed Abraham. He said, Abraham, you don't know who is blessing you, but you come. Blessed be Abraham, possessor of is a son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called all of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mel melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come I'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet I'm a king and still I am a priest he said Melchizedek from today possess the heavens I mean Abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about Abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation Melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of Abraham are you getting my point 
and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. Can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. So tonight. I want you to believe jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 come on just pray in tongues for one minute something just entered my spirit as my father has sent me with the same equipping with the same equipping john 20 john 20 John 20 ah goodness John 20 are you there then said Jesus to them listen peace be to you as my father has sent me he said even so send I you so he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him that means he equipped me the father did something to me and i'm about to do the same thing to you and it will make you do the works that he did watch this 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them he said this is the secret receive ye the holy ghost receive ye the holy ghost i transfer the ministry of the holy spirit from me to you let him walk with you and you will do wonders you will suddenly become a priest you will suddenly become a king the same way i set men free he will empower you and you will set men free the same way i spoke and it came to pass now the same way the holy ghost walked with me this was my secret receive ye receive that means you can reject him he said receive don't reject him receive when he comes to you receive his presence makes you become like jesus 
it's not about praying in tongues it's more than praying in tongues you receive him you can reject him jesus said when he comes receive receive don't reject many people have been rejecting him you are praying in tongues but you've been rejecting him tonight receive him receive him receive his ministry jesus said when he comes receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost receive the holy ghost the same way you receive a visitor question how do you receive a visitor in your house when a visitor comes you put a chair you say you are welcome let me bring food for you what do you want that's how to receive you don't stand at the door and say mr man what did you come to look for that's how many of us are receiving the holy ghost you are praying in tongues but you truly have not received his ministry tonight will you receive that ministry will you receive the same way you receive a visitor the bible says be careful entertain men well for in need some of you have entertained strangers that's why you see us honor his presence so much because jesus left him without the holy spirit while i was praying i said holy spirit we're in partnership with you i will do the talking i will do all the things my own part of the deal i will do it well and i know for sure that's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed that's what gives us confidence there is an audacity there is always a side to your life you cannot explain that's the side where the holy ghost steps in if you can explain everything about your life you are walking alone there should be a supernatural dimension i've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained the other part now the holy ghost does not just talk he explains it with the results oh that's why i love him doesn't have room for long stories tonight god is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say lord i'm tired the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one 9 verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god 
has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 Oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and you say there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called sadiq ibrahim i never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of hiv right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there I mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable 
Hallelujah. Selena is here. Where is Selena? Wave your hand. I think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for. She had triplets, right? Or something. The children are still alive. Triplets. One, two, three. Three children. I just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirit and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you're there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me it says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship you hallelujah lord jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only god that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like i see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Zebaka parada baladabash. 
everywhere inside and outside connect this is the moment of faith i'm about to step back and let this most holy spirit step into your life is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, stand up, praise the God of for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship you Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible? With God. Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah 
before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called hallelujah those of you in this row just lift your hands i don't know what it is that i see the angels of the lord doing here i see the angels of the lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this row let me have the people outside thank you jesus one two three let the power of god move right now right now is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. 
presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a back of Propose I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. Shake it. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God, inside and outside. Right now, let the power of God bring deliverance. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Those outside, just those outside, goodness. I see a number of angels. You're going to shout Jesus after the count of three. Outside means everywhere that is not in. And there will be massive deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now, those outside? I see the power of God like files of fire. One, two at the count of three. Shout Jesus three. We dethrone altars, we dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes. In the name of our God, blessed is he who 
comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus.